Hey guys, John Rettinger here with an unboxing for you of the Lenovo S10 Netbook. For those of you that don't know, a netbook is a subclass of laptops that's ultra portable, a little bit underpowered, but ideal for web browsing, for blogging, and for general computing needs like word processing and such. A netbook is an ideal perfect choice. I'm very excited to dig in and see what Lenovo has to offer here. Let's go ahead and open the box up. The tape was already broken, actually. All right. Here we've got the Lenovo Idea Pad. We've got a lot of. There's some PR stuff in there. Go ahead and throw that box off to the side. Nothing exciting in the PR envelope. So here it is, Lenovo Idea Pad. Let's see what else we have on the box here. Just tell you where it was packaged in Shanghai. Let's see if it gives you some specs on the side here. Nope, just some serial number, some cautions and stuff. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and dig in. Looks like this was already open. There's probably some sort of public relations insert in there. Or perhaps it's already been a review unit. All right, so we open it up and we're greeted with the netbook itself. It looks like a box here with probably the accessories. So let's take this out. Yep, that is the computer itself. It's very light. Don't assume it has a battery in it. Pull that off and we'll put the netbook off to the side here for just a moment. We'll come right back to it. Lenovo IdeaPad S9 and S10. This is the S10, like I said. Setup, user guide, and regulatory notice. And I should mention that this is running Windows XP. And some specs on this, it's got a single core Intel Atom processor at 1.6 gigahertz. It's got the GMA 950 integrated graphics accelerator. It's actually the same integrated graphics that used to be in the old plastic MacBooks. It's got one gigabyte of RAM and a 10.2 inch WSVGA screen and 160 gigabyte hard drive spinning at 5400 RPMs. So this little tiny laptop is actually a, about as powerful as one of the high scale laptops maybe you would have had a couple years ago. So it really is actually relatively capable. So we got the books. Let's see what we got in the box here. And then we'll get to the fun stuff. We have power cord. Power brick, which is a relatively standard power brick. The three prong plugs right in. And rounding out the box, we have what appears to be Lenovo's extended six cell battery. This extended part right here is the extra three cells. Generally, you just get this smaller portion right on the side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the netbook itself. Put it off to the side here. So if you're interested in the Lenovo netbook, and I'll put a link to Lenovo in the sidebar, we'll run you about $400 with the extended battery. So here is the laptop itself. Let's pull the box off to the side. You guys can get a sense of how it looks here. Looks like we've got just a little bit of plastic on top. We'll peel that off. So perhaps this is actually a new unit. It just opens to insert some things. It's got a kind of a nice red glossy look to it. Very nice, and it doesn't actually appear to be that big a finger prick magnet, which is nice for a glossy laptop. And let me tell you, this thing is very light. So let's pop in the battery, and I will walk you guys around the device. All right, so we just put the battery in, and you will see that the six cell battery does extend out a little bit on the side. It actually kind of makes it nice and easy to carry. If you had the three cell, it would just be flush and round on the back. Actually, it does have a very nice weight to it. So on the side, you've got your vents for uh, cooling. You've got actually a monitor port, a VGA port, which is actually quite nice. So if you want to connect this to a bigger monitor or use something larger than the 10.2-inch screen, the integrated graphics chip actually will be able to handle that. So that's very nice. There's your simple power port. It looks like it actually has a SD card slot for hard drive expansion. Here we have a USB port. On the front of the device, you've got your speaker port right there with some LED indicators for power, battery. Moving along the other side, looks like you actually have an expansion port here on the side as well. Let me get the camera focus. There we go. So you got an expansion port on the side, which is actually quite nice for a netbook. 
This does not have a built-in 3G card, but you certainly could put one right there. You've got your audio in, audio out, your second USB port, and an Ethernet port. And this, of course, does have Wi-Fi built in, uh, A, B, and G. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the keyboard. And it certainly is a small screen and a small keyboard, but I guess that's kind of what you would expect from a netbook. I'll do a full review on the keyboard and how it is to type and how it feels, but let's just do some general impressions here. Keyboards have some nice clip to it. The shift key appears to be one row up is a little bit strange. It does have a very small trackpad. I also believe this trackpad will support some multi-touch gestures, but of course I'll have to use it to see, and we've got a left click and a right click button. So let's do a first boot up of this and let's see what it looks like. This has an instant on OS in addition to Windows XP and I'll demo that a little bit later. But let's just turn it on and boot it right up into XP and see if the battery has some charge in it. And I should also mention that it does have a tiny integrated webcam as well for video chats. Let's go ahead and power this on. Well, there's no guarantee there's a charge in the battery. It looks like there is. Get the Lenovo logo. And here's where you can choose to boot into this Quick Start OS powered by Splashtop. We'll do a walkthrough of that later, but let's exit it and boot right into Windows XP. Let's see how long the boot time is. And since this is the first time it's booting up, it should boot it up. Boot it up. It should be relatively quick. This is my first foray into netbooks. Certainly I've used many laptops in the past and netbooks are really our growing craze. So I'm excited to see what all the fuss is about. And Lenovo certainly has one of the better offerings available. Your Windows XP splash screen and there you are. I think it was a relatively fast boot, especially for Windows. And we're off. So I'll go ahead and let that boot up and I'll do a size comparison too with you guys with a computer that you're probably familiar with, the 13-inch aluminum unibody MacBook. So I'll go ahead and close this up. Give a little Yelp there. So here we have the 13-inch MacBook. Move these both forward here so you guys can get a better sense of how they stack up size-wise. Now obviously the netbook is much, much, much smaller. The 13-inch MacBook is definitely small in its own right, but it looks flat-out gargantuan compared to the Lenovo. Let's do a width comparison of the two. You can see that there is not that big a width difference, and with the extra battery, Lenovo has a little bit of added weight, but that 6-cell battery really, I think, is a must-have. Anyway guys, this is John Rettinger with a real quick unboxing of the Lenovo S10 Netbook. Stay tuned for all kinds of reviews and comparisons and some head-to-head -head things. So make sure you stick around and for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.